I'm Tony Rivera, Managing Director of Azure Minerals. Azure Minerals is an Australian company. We're listed on the ASX and we're based in uh, headquartered in Perth in Western Australia. However, all of our operations are based in Mexico and we've been working in the country for 12 years and we believe that Mexico is a, a really great place to do business. We've got a number of projects uh, at various stages of uh, advancement and uh, the most uh, advanced of those projects is Opazura, which is a high-grade zinc, lead and silver project, which we hope to have in production producing in 2020 or 2021. Opazura is a, a project that's um, been explored on and off for the last 60 or 70 years. Um, however, it's been dormant for probably the last 30 years. And Azure Minerals acquired it in August of 2017 and in the 12 months or a little bit more since then we've been able to complete a resource drill out, uh, we've completed a scoping study into developing a mining operation and we're finally into the, uh, the feasibility study stage now. And we expect to be uh, at a decision to mine point of view in, um, in early 2019 and, oh sorry, early 2020. And, uh, and in production by uh, late 2020 or early 2021. It's, it's a project which um, has one of the most simple mining projects I've ever seen. It's simple geology, simple mining techniques, simple processing and produces very high grade and low contaminant uh, zinc concentrate and lead silver concentrates. It's our main project, it's our flagship project at the moment and we see this as being a, a project which will enable Azure Minerals to be able to progress from being a, a, an exploration company to being a mining company, a mining producer. We also have a number of other projects um, and some of those are in joint venture with major companies. For example, the Alacran project, which is both a silver gold project and also has a very good potential for a large copper deposit. And that's our partner on that project is Tech Resources and Tech are in there busy drilling at the moment and we've got great expectations that, uh, that that will develop itself into a major copper project. The potential in Mexico is, is very high. The, uh, the mineral potential is excellent um, and there's many world-class mining operations in Mexico. There's also uh, a long history. There's over 500 years of mining history in the country and the, the government, the, both federal and state, and also the local communities and businesses understand the benefits that mining bring to Mexico and, and uh, they're all fully supportive of the mining industry. In this particular part of Mexico, in Sonora, it is very similar to some of the uh, great mining districts of Australia, for example, the Pilbara or the, uh, the eastern gold fields around Kalgoorlie or around uh, Mount Isa or Broken Hill. It's a mining focused state of Sonora. And in this particular part of Mexico, the challenges are minimal. This is a, a, one of the world's great mining destinations. The, the mining industry in Mexico is mature. They have a first world standard mining and processing industry here. They, in Mexico they have all of the uh, requirements that are needed to, to build mining and processing operations. Um, however, Australia brings in particular expertise and, and, and a skill set which um, can always be assist, uh, help to, um, to the Mexican operations. And that they're particularly North American centric and uh, so they, they look to Mexico and the United States and Canada are very uh, um, interdependent. Um, so Australians can bring in a, a different skill set, a different way of doing things and uh, for, for the mineral processing business um, that's particularly important and there's great opportunities here for Australian companies. We're always using technologies, Australian technology and other technologies uh, and because the mining industry is worldwide these days and it's hard to know which company particularly develops um, projects but, uh, or, or um, techniques and, and procedures and protocols. But here in, in Mexico, uh, one of the things that's not used very much is um, dense media separation. And, and that's whether that's a, a particularly an Australian invention or a, uh, something that's just been developed and, and strongly utilised in Australia. There's a moot point, but uh, here in Mexico it's not common, but we're going to be using it on our Opazura project, and, and that's an, a relatively um, new technology for, for the Mexican mining industry, and they're certainly very interested in, uh, in progressing it. 
Dense media separation is, is a, a means by which one can separate uh, ore and waste and uh, it can be done in, in various different formats but the way we're using it, um, it will be looking at a differentiation on the basis of density. So the waste rock, which is a low density rock, will be rejected and the, and the ore, the, uh, the material that contains the, uh, the high grade mineralization will be collected and in our Obazura project specifically, this will result in a, a rejection of about 40% of the, of the uh, material, of the feed, and, uh, and a consequent upgrade of about 40% in the grade. Um, we're already in advanced discussions with Orica, which is an Australian company, and, and not only for uh, explosives, but other chemicals as well. And that's an example of the opportunities that are here in Mexico, um, that uh, even though the, the mining industry is, is mature, it's, um, they're always looking for new suppliers and new um, techniques that can be utilised here. And um, Australian, the Australian suppliers to the mining industry in, in Australia are very, um, would be very welcome over here. Um, there's opportunities in all of the mining industry in, in Mexico for uh, the new suppliers to get in there. It's a really good one because Australia actually has a very strong reputation in Mexico. The Australian companies that are operating here, few as they are, have a very good reputation. Um, perhaps that's because uh, our competitors, main competitors are, are from Canada and the United States and um, familiarity um, is, is an interesting uh, concept over here. But because Australians are different, we have a different way of approaching things, a different way of dealing with people. And, and that has been, for our company, has been enormous, enormously beneficial simply because um, we, we have a different way and a more familiar way of dealing with, uh, with people, customers, clients, um, local people, communities, etc., than do some of the other North American company, uh, countries. Mexico is a first world country, um, despite the perception that might be in other countries around the world. Mexico is a country which is well advanced in, in all aspects. Um, it is first world in terms of its, uh, its advancement, its economy, its legal systems, its mining legal systems, its taxation regimes. Um, it's an easy country to, to do business in. Um, the majority of the people that you deal with in the business sector all speak English and those uh, attributes are really positive for, for uh, developing a business practice here in the country. The key to success in operating in Mexico, and it's probably the same for most other countries, if you go in there, you have to go in there with commitment and perseverance, and you need to be um, immerse yourself in the local, in the country, the local um, culture, economy, etc. And it's all about being a part of it rather than just a fly in, fly out. Um, operation. We've been here for 12 years, we've had a, an office and, and people based here for 12 years. Now most of the people that we have working for us are Mexican, are local people and that's important as well uh, to make sure that you, you understand the local culture and the local way of uh, doing business with, uh, with the people here. But Mexico is a country which is very easy to do business in. The most serious of, of the issues facing companies in Mexico is the bureaucracy. Um, it, it's, at times it can be a bit slow and a bit cumbersome. It, in most cases it's, it's perfectly open and, and honest and transparent, so that's not an issue. Just the issue is the, um, the slowness of, of sometimes of getting uh, approvals in place and things like that, simply because the bureaucracy is a little bit uh, cumbersome. Um, but it's, it's notwithstanding that, um, everything that we've found in the 12 years we've been operating here um, demonstrates quite clearly that uh, things can get done and they will get done. Um, sometimes they just take a little bit more slow, that, they're a little bit more slow than uh, one would expect or like. But notwithstanding that, things do get done here and get done well.